Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Dani. I am the co-founder and head baker of Vita Bakery. Vita Bakery is a 100% vegan and free from bakery shop in London. And because we're in London, I'm gonna show you what is the most traditional English cake ever, which in my opinion is the Victoria sponge. Victoria sponge is a super mega simple recipe and pretty much everyone I know likes it. So it's a vanilla sponge with some cream and some jam. Normally the jam is um, strawberry or raspberry or something to do with berries. So I'm gonna show you how to put a gorgeous cake together. So make sure you go and check my vanilla sponge videos to see how I got this beautiful cake in front of me and also to check my vanilla buttercream video recipe so you can go ahead and do them in advance and then decorate this cake with me. So first things first, I'm gonna take my beautiful cake and put it in the Lazy Susan. I've explained you the benefits of having that beautiful, beautiful tool. And this cake is going to be consumed at home, but I'm going to secure it anyways and put a little bit of buttercream directly in the plate. You can use a cake board um, or you know any other plate you have around that you like but this cake is just so pretty that I think it's gonna look extra beautiful in this plate. So once I put a little bit of buttercream in the bottom so the cake sticks to it I'm going to add my first layer of sponge. Uh, Victoria cake is more to the rustic side of cake so it doesn't have to be all perfect and edgy and ah, nah, nah, nah. it's actually quite rustic sometimes and sometimes you can see some jam going out or cream or like it's not the most elegant cake ever so I as you may know I normally trim the top of my cake in the Victoria sponge is completely optional if you want to leave it as it is but I'm just going to remove this little, little, little caramelization here. So when we cut it open, it's nice and bright. So once that is removed, right? And then I'm gonna scrape this excess in a bowl. This is just the sugar that was on top of the cake when we were baking it, that's it. It's completely okay if you wanna leave it in. So once you have your first layer, you're gonna go and add a little bit of cream in the middle and then we're going to do a beautiful design, you'll see. So just add a little bit of cream and don't go into the edge. And then the twist we give it to the Victoria sponge is a little bit more modern and romantic. As I said, it's normally quite rustic and like homemade look. So I took one regular piping bag and I put this open tip to it. So now I'm gonna go around and make some beautiful blocks and it's gonna be super pretty. So I'm gonna take some of my cream and I'm gonna fill my bag just like this that should be plenty then once your bag is filled close it make sure your cream is all the way down nice and tight and then you're gonna go around your cake making this beautiful design so one two, three, so as you can imagine we are going to put more sponges on top of this one so this awesome design is going to become a little bit flat so don't put them exactly on the edge but a few centimeters towards the center of the cake. So to this is where we're going to add the jam. So the design we made is almost like a wall. So 
the jam doesn't go everywhere. So you take your jam, this is some beautiful raspberry jam, put it in the middle and then make it nice and flat so it goes everywhere. Just like this. And that's your first layer done. So you're gonna do exactly the same thing for the second one. Put it on top, try to put it nicely in the middle and make it flat and nice. Yep, and go ahead and do exactly the same thing again. So here we have it, this is already halfway of our decoration and in my humble opinion this is so beautiful, so you should try it at home too. So now to cover the top and make it extra special I'm gonna add lots of berries, a little bit more cream and a little bit of more jam. So just put a little blob in the middle, nothing particular nothing special just what you had left if you have any left if not just take from your bowl this cake is really chill and relaxed don't press it too hard because then obviously you don't want to ruin the design you did already but then put some cream try not to come over the edge of your cake but still give it that rustic kind of look i was talking at the beginning so in the shop we love to add a little bit of extra touch to it, so we add a jam spiral to it, spiral, no spiral, spiral, yay! So you just want to blend your jam, if your jam has seeds and stuff like that, and then put it in a nice container or a piping bag, and then you have to be confident and do it in one go. So you're gonna start from the center and do like a spider web and then go around, uh oh, that's okay, and done. So if you want to go over the places where you didn't put any, feel free to. If you didn't blend well your jam, well this is gonna happen, but no worries. That's so pretty. This is why I love this cake so much. It's so simple and so beautiful and already what this cake takes is so beautiful by themselves. So I will just leave it like that if you like it like this, but I will give it an extra touch and add some berries to it. Here we have some strawberries, raspberries, blackberries and blueberries. So I'm gonna start with the strawberries. I might chop them in half just because they're a little bit large. So just take your strawberry, chop a few in half. Ah, oh, so pretty, so beautiful. And so tasty. Right, and then what I like doing is to do it in like a clockwise motion. So you start with two in like three and nine and then 12 and six then you can put them the other way around if you feel like it you don't it's your cake you can do whatever you want to it so this is already nice i'm gonna add some raspberries as well just because raspberries are awesome just here and there no rules for this cake it's your own design you baked it, you already did the baking, the frosting, just do whatever you want with it. And then some blackberries, because blackberries are so pretty. Here and there and everywhere. And 
and now that we have them why not add them too so some blueberries if you don't know about Victoria the Queen she was pretty awesome you should check her out she also is a massive influence in the baking world she's the reason why we do like massive three-tier wedding cakes she was super extravagant and elegant and amazing so if you have a chance go and look for Queen Victoria and you will learn a lot about baking because when she was alive is when the sugar happened so obviously she could ask to her servants or I don't know who to explore and that's where cake started happening I think this is mega mega pretty all you have to do is make it in your own style and that's it I hope you like this cake I think is pretty awesome so if you are a little bit more patient you should put your cake in the fridge for like an hour or two so everything is set and beautiful but I cannot wait this cake is honestly yum so I'm gonna give it a go <laughs> so now you know how to make a beautiful Victoria sponge it is easy everyone will like it and if you do it please remember to share it with me you can tag me on Vida Bakery or Danny Bakes Vida and that's it enjoy and remember to subscribe to my channel and if you have any questions or anything to tell me leave them in the comments below bye